Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Pat again from Spellroom Productions. I got another plugin to show you how to use. It's called Echo Boy. It's by Sound Toys and it's probably one of my favorite delay plugins I use all the time. It's pretty popular. Uh, it's def definitely can be kind of complex, um, but it's only because it has so many features I'm going to show you. Now, here's what makes Echo Boy so great. It's the Swiss Army Knife of delays. It gives you the ability to have all different kinds of different textures when it comes to echoes. So, but before I get into that and show you how what I mean by that, I'm going to go ahead and just go into the plugin itself and show you what we got going on. So, first thing I'm going to do is actually set this back to default. Factory default. So, when you open it up, it's actually originally going to look like this. Uh, you're going to go ahead and have your main functions here for your uh, echo. Um, you're going to be able to choose uh, what kind of uh, time signature you want. Uh, your delay to be so if you want in quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenths, you can go ahead and change it, dots, triplets, so on and so forth. Um, you have a mix knob, so if you're taking your direct mix and putting into this, you can go ahead and adjust the balance, how much you want going into it. Uh, the echo time is the same thing as hitting this button, just changes up uh, what kind of uh, kind of note that you want your echoes to be. You have your feedback, so pretty basic. How much or how often do you want that echo to repeat? Um, the kind of cool feature about this, it comes with a built-in uh, high-pass, low-pass filter, which is kind of nice. The prime nine numbers is actually a pretty interesting feature with this one. I don't use it much myself, but I know some people that do. With the prime numbers, uh, what it does, I believe it changes the frequencies that's coming through the original signal and repeating or just uh, repeating the prime numbers of that signal. So we also have Tweak, which gives you a little bit more uh, flexibility on the plugin to decide what you want to do with it. Now, uh, over here in the center, you can go ahead and click this to go ahead and uh, have it uh, sync to your song. Um, you can go ahead and add a little bit of a shuffle or swing to it, change the groove up a little bit. Uh, same thing with the feel, which is pretty nice. So it, it allows you to not just have this very sterile, plain sounding echo, you can go ahead and kind of adjust the feel and the vibe for it. Now here's the one thing I also really like about it as well, you can also change how Echo Boy works through the different modes that they have. So for an example, it's pretty common, some people want to go ahead and have an eighth note on one side and then they want to do an eighth dotted note or a quarter note on the other side. You have that flexibility to do that. You also have the ping pong effect, kind of similar, oh, whoop, where is it? keep going back and forth. Similar thing, you can kind of adjust it from here. Uh, rhythm echo, so this is what I mean by it's so versatile. You can really um, be uh, make, make surgical decisions when it comes to choosing what kind of echo that you want to use. Now, the other great thing about this plugin is going to be the saturation. So the saturation, on top of it just being an echo, you're able to go ahead and get it a little bit dirty, you know, uh, kind of bring out the harmonics in the echo itself, all just from one plugin. Now, my favorite thing about this plugin, well, before I get to that, I gotta let you know there's an input and output, pretty standard with every pl plugin, but here's my favorite thing, is the style. Here is a huge list of different kinds of echoes that this emulates. Uh, anything from FM radios, Memory Man, uh, tape, uh, different kinds of tape, by the way. So you have different options that you can go ahead and emulate. I believe it's emulating a lot of famous echoes that are out there on the market as well. So, and then you're also able to kind of change, you know, what you want that to do. So again, it's very customizable for what you want for your signature sound when it comes to echoes. Now. I know this sounds pretty uh, crazy when it comes to like, well, it's just an echo, you know, it's just this texture, but that's also what makes the vibe of the song. So this gives you that complete uh, flexibility to be, like I said, as surgical as you want to be to make creative decisions when it comes to your echoes. So now what I did here is I have two sets of vocals, kind of uh, one going back and forth from the other. So everything's exactly the same. I'm going to take this instance of Echo Boy and copy it over here since I kind of messed around with the other one. I'm going to press play so that way you can hear what it sounds like with the, uh, with the features I have on right now. Just to talk about a little bit, I have an AM radio feel, have some saturation going, uh, eighth notes, uh, have the uh, feedback kind of, not halfway there, but so that way it kind of repeats a good amount of time. And the mix is kind of, uh, you know, you hear a lot of the dry vocals because this is going to be on my main track. 
Um, but you do hear the echo in the background. So I have the Volo solo. Let's go ahead. Excuse me. I have the Vox solo. Let's go ahead and take a listen. This is it. So that sounds pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and on just one of these, actually I'm not going to do dotted, I'm going to go ahead and just change it to a, let's see, nope. I'm going to change it to a quarter note and just hear what it sounds like. So quarter note, one side, eighth note, one side, it's just happening for only one set of the vocals, not the other side. This is it. So you kind of hear that when I stop the music, how it's playing a little bit differently. So like I said, it gives you that versatility to make different decisions when it comes to making your own specific kind of delay and echo sound. So, but yeah, this is Echo Boy. I hope you guys like it. It's a great plugin. Definitely recommend getting it. Uh, if you can fork out the cash to do it, it's going to be, like I said, the Swiss army knife of delays. Um, I don't think you're really going to have to buy too many other delays. Uh, or echo uh, plugins after getting this one. So hope you like this video and I'll see you guys at the next one. Have a great day.